Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. Here at Ag PhD, we talk quite often about improving soil drainage. Well, today during our Farm Basics time, we want to talk about the difference between ditching and subsurface drainage. Ah, there is a huge difference here. Now, when we think about ditching, that means surface drainage. So if you've got a field that you want water to run across the surface of the field, doing some ditching out there can help direct the flow of where that water is going to go. Ditching can be kind of a nice thing. When you get great big rains and your soil gets completely saturated, you do want to control where that water is going to run off so it isn't creating a lot of erosion problems for you. If you can limit it to one certain area, that's good. One thing that we like to do too is in those areas, if we know there's going to be a lot of slope and water could be moving fast, we could even put a grass waterway in where we're making that ditch so we kind of make it permanent and we protect the soil to hold it in place. On the other hand, and what we talk about most often here on the show, is subsurface drainage, or we sometimes refer to it as internal drainage. So this is moving the water that's below ground a little bit deeper into the soil profile. The reason why this is so important is if you've ever taken an agronomy class, on day one of that agronomy class, they probably told you that ideal soil composition is roughly 50% dirt, 25% air, and 25% water. Well, the problem is if the water table gets high, now all of a sudden you're 50% dirt and 50% water and no air, which means that no roots are gonna be able to grow, no aerobic microbes and beneficial microbes are gonna be able to live. So that's a real problem. Well, the big thing here too is think about your soil as a sponge. And if you've got air space there, when we do get those big rains, you've got a good place to go where water can just move down through the soil and hang out there and wait for your plants to take it up, that can be a really good thing. But if that sponge is plumb full, where's the water going to go? Well, it's going to run off on the surface and it's going to run off as fast as the rain comes or as fast as water moves down the hill, creating some real challenges. When we talk about subsurface drainage, we're usually discussing tile, but there are other things that kind of go along with that. Let's talk about that internal drainage and what subsurface tile actually is because sometimes you see this hose getting laid out and you say, well, how does the water actually get into there? Yep, there are little perforations in that hose or tile line as we call it. It's just a plastic piece that's down in the ground. So then the water can go in there and then the water quickly moves out of the soil. Now the thing is, usually when farmers are setting this up, it can only take in total, a quarter inch per acre per day, maybe a half inch per acre per day. So it's not like it's taking all kinds of water super quickly out of the field. It's very slowly removing that water from the field. These tile lines are usually set about three feet deep or so. But in addition to having tile lines out there, for good internal drainage, you wanna have high levels of calcium and high levels of soil organic matter and reduce compaction as much as possible. So those are all the keys to having good internal drainage. And by the way, you do see this around your house. If you've got a sump pump in your house, you've got tile running right along the foundation of your house, keeping that water table from coming up into your basement. And those tile lines run right to your sump pump hole. So sometimes if you look in that hole where your sump pump's at, you'll see the tile lines feeding right in. Yep. So we have many cases where ditching, absolutely super important. That's basically surface drainage. We also have lots of cases around the country and around the world where there's tile and we're doing everything we can to have better internal drainage. So two different things, both really important on most farms. Well, another thing that's very important is controlling weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 